Now instead of coming into your worksheet and selecting cell ranges and coloring or shading the range and bolding it on the outside and setting up your data so it looks a little bit more aesthetically pleasing like over here we can have it bold and have the headings in bold and try to give it some outlines here by using the um, border fill here for all borders. Excel actually has some built-in formats. They call it auto format. I'm going to hit undo a couple of times to get rid of it. In order to apply the auto format to a selected range of cells or to see what Excel has available to automatically apply to this range, which includes, you know, whatever they have there, bolding the headings and outlining in a grid the cells, but with different colors. First of all, you need to add this to the quick access toolbar or the QAT, Q-A-T. Let me click off in a blank area. What I want to do is I want to right click on the quick access toolbar, come down to customize. Over on the left hand side I want to change it to all commands so I can view all the commands here. And it's alphabetized so I'll go ahead and scroll down here until I find auto format which is right here. All I have to do is double click to add it over to the right screen here which means when I click OK it adds it up on my quick access toolbar. Now to go ahead and apply whatever built in formats are here. First I want to select the range of cells I'd like to apply this to and then come up here and click on the button the auto format button and then you can see some built-in formats like we got classic 3 here it's the title for this one up above go ahead and scroll through and find the one that you really like and then select it click OK click off in a blank area to see it hey I didn't do too bad on my first selection the other options you do have you can select the range again click on the auto format button come down here and click on options and maybe you don't like the formatting of a certain cell of a certain design here you can say I don't like the fonts get rid of it I don't like the patterns get rid of it Maybe the width and height I don't care to be applied. I like it defaulted to what I have here. And then you can click OK and click off in a blank area. Of course, it's overlaying the previous auto format that I applied to it. That's why I still have the same color. And if I don't like any of it, I can go ahead and select the range. On the Home tab over here on, in the Editing group, click on the little eraser arrow, the clear arrow. Click on it, go down to it, and say you want to clear all formats. Of course, that also gets rid of our currency, but then I can select it again. Come up here in the Numbers group on the Home tab and... Select currency again, and I'm back to square one. Hey, thanks for watching. If you like my video, please give it a thumbs up. And if you subscribe to my YouTube channel, as soon as I upload a new video, you'll be notified instantly. And you can do that by coming over here and clicking on my face. You can also click here to support me. So for $2 a month, you can have access to over 2,700 training videos, all ad-free. And for a few bucks more, you can have access to my exercises, instructor notes, quizzes, certificate of completion, and a whole lot more.